Shabbat Shalom Nursi. In this week's Torah portion, Parshat Mishpatim, we get a lot of commandments and prohibitions, which are kind of a foundation for the rules that we follow as Jews, and they'll be explained more in the Talmud, which comes later on with the rabbis. The prohibitions and commandments that we get fall into one of three categories. Ben Adam Latzmo, between a man and himself. Ben Adam Lachavero, between a man and his friend or a man and his community. And a third, which is Ben Adam Lamakom, literally a, between a man and a place, but what it really means is between man and God. In addition to all of those rules, we get the commandments for the Shlosha Regalim, the three legs or pillars of Judaism, which are actually the three holidays which are times when we give offerings to God. And those are Pesach, Sukkot, and Shavuot. And now I'm going to talk about these three. Pesach literally means the passing over. And this is the passing over that occurs during the final plague, where God is supposed to kill all of the firstborn children, but all of the Israelites paint their doorways with special blood. The angel of death passes over these houses to ensure that only the Egyptian-born firstborns are killed. In addition to that, the blood that's painted on the doorways is called a mezuzah. Does that sound familiar? It's the little box thing which has the Shema written up inside it, and that's what we have in all of our doorways nowadays, and you kiss it every time you enter a room. Shavuot occurs 50 days after Passover, and it celebrates when we have received the Torah from God. Sukkot is the holiday which commemorates the temporary structures that the Israelites lived in as they journeyed back into the land of Israel. Now, what do these three holidays have in common? They all celebrate different types of harvest. And harvesting is very important to the Jewish people because we actually have a, an agricultural calendar. And it's very important as, you know, we celebrate a new harvest or a new part of our planting cycle that we also have a holiday to celebrate that, to praise God for allowing us to have these opportunities. Why do we have to commemorate these ones in particular? Why are these our three pillars? I think that each one of them is very distinct and very important to our tradition because they remind us not only of where we were, but also where we can go. Back in the time that they occurred, they commemorated a specific event that happened. And I think it's important for us to remember these events. But, in addition to that, they also have this whole agricultural cycle which they tie into, which I think is something which is a lot more forward-thinking, because we might not be able to return to those events of the past every single day, but for people who live on an agricultural cycle, this is something that's very important to them, and it's very important for them to celebrate these specific times in our year. So for us, I think that it's very important to find those check-in points. For you, that could be your birthday, your friend's birthday. And it's very important to have this sort of rhythm because as Jews, we like our rhythm, we like our traditions. And I think that if you look into this week's Torah portion, we can find a lot of those traditions, a lot of those rhythms. And I hope that you can continue to find those rhythms in your life, in Judaism and in your secular lives as well. I love you all very much. Enjoy Officer's Convention, Officer's Kinnis, Relets. I will see you in this very room in less than 25 hours, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!